when you're connected to your soul, so you are who that you are, and then you have inner peace. But when you're not connected to your soul, so you always work for others, because you don't have yourself. So you suck your happiness from external sources. So other people compliments or opinions. You don't need to be happy with the fact that you look good. You feel happy from the fact that you are good, that your essence is good. When the bad thoughts are trying to break you and to make you sad and depressed, why are they fighting you? Because they have a purpose in their life to cover, to block the light of the Creator, to block the light of your soul. That's their job in the world. So, on which part of your soul they will put most of their effort? The best part of your soul that is the shiniest, that's the finest one, on that part they will put all of their effort. So if you see that you're failing in certain subject in life, like your self-image, you hate yourself, you blame yourself, you should understand from the fact that you're struggling with such a huge war on that aspect in your life, Especially in that point, you have a huge light inside of you. And this is why so much power is being aimed on you to block that light of your soul. So if you see that you fall into sadness, you should understand from that that you must be a happy person. Go search, go look into the depths of your own soul. Find that inner child inside of you. You will recognize such an amazing spiritual beauty that is really you. You're such an innocent and simple and good person. And you just want to love. And you just want to be loved. And if we will just gonna hold that connection, that bond to Hashem, the connection of love, it will give us the power to climb out from the worst, from the lowest, from the darkest places of our exile. You're not the result of all of those sins. All of those sins were the solutions that you came up with when you were seven, when you were nine, when you were 14, when you were 15. Today you are a person that's searching for the truth. Today you are a person that's making a huge investigation of finding the source, the roots of his own soul. You're a brave person. You're a hero. You're a warrior. You're a truth seeker. When you complete your tshuva, when you come back to Hashem completely, you can see that light. You can see the light of your soul and then your being is filling the world. You just, you're happy to be alive. You just feel good. You feel relief. You feel the being of the Creator. You feel the existence of the Creator. You always feel good. So for that, we need to believe that we have that spiritual soul and to go with all of our powers into the depths of our soul and to come back to be who that we are. That person that can laugh from stupid jokes, that person that can enjoy from a silly chocolate bar, be who that you are. If you will listen to your inner voice, your self-esteem will, will, will come back and you will see the beauty of your soul and you will just let yourself express it and the world will shine. You're tuned in to Freedom Through Faith. The Emuna Project is a nonprofit dedicated to producing faith-based media. To support this work, visit emuna.com.